What's up guys, nice easy lesson today, all right, because we just have four chords that just go round and round for most of this song, with a couple of little changes, right? So it works in the chorus. I think I'm lost without you. I think I'm lost without you. Okay, and then we can do the same thing for the verse. Standing on a platform, watching you go. It's the same sort of thing, all right? So let me show you the four chords first, and then we're gonna look at how to approach playing the different sections, all right? How to build up the dynamics of the whole thing. So we have E, B, um, F sharp minor seven, and A sus. All right, so first one, let's look at this one, E major. So we have open E. Okay, oh, by the way, capo's on the second fret. You need to put your capo there. You can get these online for like $5, whatever. I do giveaways, so subscribe. Make sure that you keep an eye out for my giveaways. Open E. Middle finger is going to be on the A string, second fret. Third finger, D string, second fret. And then first finger is on the G string, first fret. Okay, then we have open B, open E. Okay, that's the first chord. Second chord we have B. Okay, I there's a few ways of playing this. The easiest way is probably this. So let me show you this first, and then I'll show you how I play it as well. So for the kind of power chord, open power chord version, we have third finger is on the oh, the D string, fourth fret from the capo. One, two, three, four. Fourth finger goes underneath on the G string, 4th fret from capo, and we have open B, open E. Okay, then you're going to have to bring your wrist quite low and just push the 1st finger across to the 2nd fret of the A string. Okay, so... Standing on the platform, watching you go... You hear that? It sounds nice. Uh, one thing I like to do instead is get this nice kind of sus feel. Right, so you want to have middle finger on the D string, fourth fret, third finger, fourth fret on the G string, fourth finger, fourth fret on the B string. Okay, so this is another option, you can do either. And then lower the wrist, stretch across the finger. You might have to bring your elbow into your side. Okay, don't leave your elbow out. It's easier if it's sort of in. Then you can stretch easier. Okay. Your first finger's on the A string, second fret again. Okay. The good thing about this version is for the next chord, you can just slide the whole thing down, second fret from the capo, and change the bass note. This gives us F sharp minor seven. All right. So now we have middle finger is on the D string, second fret. Third finger is G string, second fret. 4th finger, B string, 2nd fret, and we have open E still. But, make sure you add with either your thumb or your 1st finger, this note. Alright, so 2nd fret on the low E string, and hopefully that will block your A string. You don't want the A string ringing. Okay, so you can kind of just block it with this 1st finger. Okay. So again, we have two options. You can either play it like this, or do it like this. Then you have the option to add this. No, okay, still sounds nice as well. So for this version, we do middle finger, second fret. That's gonna cover the bass note. Third finger's on the D string, second fret. Fourth finger underneath on the G string, and then you have open B and open E still. Okay. Now make sure your first finger is here, ready on the G string first fret. Then you can take the pinky off, put it on. So all together. I think I'm lost without you. 
hear that? You've got more options now with the fingers. And then the last chord is A sur. Okay. So if you if you play the F sharp like this, then your A wants to just be the same fingers, but you just take away the first and the fourth finger. Okay, so you've got the open A string, middle finger second fret, third finger second fret, open B, open E. And again, you can take your third finger away so that your first finger again is on the G string first fret. Takes you back around again. Um, that's if you play F sharp like this. Obviously, you just take away fingers. Maybe block the E string with your thumb, just so it's like that. Okay. Now, if you chose the second option for F sharp, then obviously you can just take off the bass note, block it with the thumb, and then just leave those two fingers there. So it just depends which ones you've chosen to do. Right, for those of you that wanna kickstart your guitar learning abilities so that you can perform one day, potentially make money and travel playing the guitar just like me, then click the link in the description, also in the comment section, and sign up to my premium lessons on my website, all right? And we'll get you started right away learning the guitar for real. So now that we know the chords, guys, and you've got a few options for them, um, and by the way, I just kind of change in the middle of the song. I just do whatever chord I want, just so it, it varies the way that the song sounds. You know, you don't have to do one or the other. So for the first verse, we're just going to keep it simple. Just pick and pluck. So just use all of your fingers if you want. Have a different string for each. So D string, G string, B string. Pick the bass note. Okay. Standing on the platform, watching you go. Nice and simple. Do, 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 do. Really simple. Now make sure that if the root is on the A string, that you pick the A string. For B, for example, pick the A string. F sharp, pick the E string. For A, pick the A string. So E string, do do do, B uh, A string, do 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 do, E string, A string, right? Do 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 do, and we do this four times. And then on the last time. We're gonna hold the A chord for longer. So one, two, four, one, two, three, four. It's just held for longer. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But I think I'm lost without you. Now, for the first chorus, we can add a bit more. You see how we're going to develop this? So the first verse is just pick and pluck. Just one per chord, right? But the first chorus, we can strum the whole chord. Without you. Now, you notice that I'm adding just a little bit more. I don't just strum, okay? I don't just do one strum. You can see I'm kind of going down, up, down, down, up. But the first one's the loudest one, so you go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Does that make sense? So watch with the chords. sense down up down down up 
And then we hold the A. Two, three, four. So every time we get to the the fourth time round, we hold the A chord for longer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Train is rushing past her, trying to get home. Right, now for the second verse, I tend to make it a bit more It gets a bit more, it kind of builds up a bit more. So we can play down, 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 trying to get home. So the second verse, you'll notice it's longer because we have the same melody as the first verse, but then it keeps going. So just keep the same rhythm, just down, down, down. You can kind of imagine you're going... Just lots of downs, but emphasize... One, two, and three, four, down, down, down. And we can do that for the whole of the second verse, even when it gets to... It's me at full speed, feel like every. It's the same thing, you hear that? My world is crumbling, my world is crumbling. You should never have let you go. Think I'm flawed without you. Now, the second chorus. We're gonna have something different. A new chord comes in. Okay, so let me just show you the second chord, second chorus <laughs> sounds like this. So I think I'm lost without you. So we get the first line is the same as always. So I think I'm lost without you. But then the second time we're going to play I think I'm lost, lost, oh, 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 oh. I think I'm lost without you Now we have this new chord, right? So let me just show you this extra chord here Alright, there's a few ways we can play it as a bar chord or with the thumb which might be easier. So essentially they've changed F sharp ma minor <laughs> to F sharp major. Okay, quite a strange chord change, but it works and that's what you do for the rest of the song and you can just keep this nice rhythm. Just down, 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 down. You can keep this going for the rest of the song. So let me just show you this chord and then you're good to go. You've learned everything, all right? So option number one, I'll show you the easy version first, all right? You wanna have your third finger, fourth fret from the capo, one, two, three, four, on the A string. Fourth finger goes underneath on the D string. And then you're gonna have your middle finger. This is what changes it to major, okay? It's the third note in the chord. So this is gonna be third fret from the capo, one, two, three. And then your first finger is here on the second fret. You can get both B and the E string notes if you want, if you flatten that. Okay, and then you can try and add the thumb. If, if you can, if you can't, it doesn't matter, but if you can, just put the thumb over on the second fret of the E string. Okay. A sus as normal, so I think I'm lost, 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 wow. Okay, and we keep that going for the whole song, okay? Or you can play it as a bar chord where so these three fingers are still in the same place as before, but you can just bar the whole of the second fret with your second finger. You just have to really kind of pinch it in 
Um, I like to add these three first and then I almost kind of drag it in. I feel like it's easier to push down if you're dragging it inwards as well. And then right at the end of the song, you can go back to one strum. Standing on a platform, watching you go. Okay, then you go back to F sharp minor just for this last bit. Mm -hmm. 